The Christmas party was a success. Yeah, I legitimately can't, can't even sit in front of my lights right now. I'm gonna throw up. Okay, I wanna be very clear, this might be confusing. This is not cool Wubby right now. This is Wubby with sunglasses. There is a difference. For those who don't know, close IRL personal friends from around the world came to San Diego this week and last night was our annual Christmas party that we did. I warned you on Wednesday. I'm dead so I am hydrating and this isn't a joke. I'm actually drinking uh, gamer subs now is the only time that you can pre-order the official pay money wubby gamer subs shaker Here's a few quick reasons why you should buy the shaker exhibit a Exhibit B also, the green suit changes color depending on what drink you have in it, and I mean, that's just neat. The shaker also comes with four sample packs, so you can try Gamer Subs for free. It's keto friendly, has zero calories, and plenty of electrolytes to stay hydrated after a drunk Christmas party. Also, once this order is over, it is gone forever and won't be sold again. So get it while it's still around. Use the link in the description, which takes you directly to the shaker, and use code WUBBY for money off your order. Gamer Subs, S uh, s sip the game. Oh my God, we had a bartender actually assault someone. Just remember that, by the way, all on security camera. I haven't sifted through the security camera yet. So I hired a bartender last year. Last year, my bartender cost a couple grand. I didn't know anything about hiring bartenders. I didn't know anything about that. I didn't know how much they were supposed to cost. So then this year, I was like, you know what? I'm going to do better research. And I'm going to try to find a bartender that's cheap and we can tip them if they're good. So I found, I'm not going to say who. I almost want to because I'm never hiring this person again. But let me just be very clear. You get what you pay for. I hired a guy who uh, charged me just under $300 for the whole night. I had to supply the booze and everything. A little too cheap. Okay, hold on, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I call this guy 10 p.m. That's how desperate I was. Two days before the party, I call this guy at 10 p.m. And he picks up. The dude is blackout drunk. The dude has just phone like this. Thank you for calling Bartender San Diego. That's not the real name. Thank you for calling Bartender San Diego. How can I help you? And I'm like, fuck. Oh, God. So I start scheduling it. He's explain. I'm like, okay, this seems reasonable. He's explaining it. He's wasted. But okay. Next day, I, I, I schedule with him. He's like, okay, I'll call you back tomorrow. We'll figure out payment. He doesn't call back tomorrow. I call him. He has no clue who I am. He remembers nothing. Man, I'm really stupid. I, you can tell I was so desperate. Schedule it, we're good to go. All my friends arrive at the party and I tell them, hey guys, the bartender this time was very cheap. So feel free to tip if the service is good. Anyway, the dude arrives. He is this like, looks like a dude who, who has not outgrown college. He has like a flat brim hat. He looks like 45 years old. He comes in, hey, what's up? Hey, I'm here to get you guys fucked up. My bartender's almost here. I'm like, hold on, why are you here? This is very important. One keynote here. On the phone, he says, do you want the bartender to be a girl in a bikini? God damn, there's so many red flags. I actually am embarrassed. And I was like, uh, no, I'm good. Like, that's not the vibe of the party. Okay, okay, uh, we'll have a guy. Do you want him in a suit? And I'm like, no, just, I want the bartender comfortable. Whatever is gonna make him comfortable to serve us drinks, right? I'm already taken back by the question. He shows up and the bartender walks in a few minutes later. The bartender is a woman. I don't care, but it was a little weird that I was like, no, 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 I don't need a bikini girl. He's like, okay, we'll get a guy then. And then a girl shows up, whatever. I didn't think too much of it. Here's where it goes downhill very fast. She immediately takes her top off and every single shot, she's, I made that up, but was it convincing? Think about that. First drink she pours, I like, maybe I drink too much. Maybe I go to too many bars, but I could tell like that. I'm like, this woman's not a bartender. And then upon, Closer inspection, I'm realizing that the guy, the owner of the business is standing behind her, showing her how to do everything. I take one sip of my of my Moscow mule and I'm like, <coughs> wow. A bad bartender is only a bad bartender for the first hour because then it's like, whoa, sure. You don't give a fuck, right? I wouldn't have hated the guy, wouldn't have had a problem with it. Later on in the night, very late in the night, the bartender has left now. I'm talking to all of our friends. We're all kind of hanging out by the bar. They all start telling me, yo, Wubby, did you see what he did? And I was like, no, what, what, what happened? I've been fucking hammered. I haven't been paying attention. He's been getting wasted off of your liquor the entire night. The owner was blitzed. I wasn't aware because I was too drunk. The more sober people let me know. And I was like, what the fuck? I was told he was filming my guests. Now, let me be clear why that's extra fucked up. One, I have streamer friends, some. I have people who aren't streamers, but because of their jobs, they like to be kept very private. Some, not all, depending. At the very least, they would be comfortable with us sharing photos, but we don't know this fucking guy. On the phone, the guy said, hey, can I take promotional videos for my business? <clears throat> and I said, you can, 
But and I made it so clear. I was like, do not film my guests, though. I'm like, I have guests who don't want to be filmed. And he's like, not a problem. It's a private event. Not a problem. I'm just going to film the bartender working. I got told the end night he was filming people take shots. Okay, here's where, you chat, you're now going to go from this is a funny story to this is, you're going to be mad. I didn't see this. Because if I saw it, I guarantee me and the big boys in my group would have thrown this guy out of the house. But I was told from some of the ladies, he was getting a little grab assy with the female bartender. And her response to it was, <sighs> that was the bartender, bit of a disaster. But he got us, she got us fucked up despite not knowing anything. So lucky for you guys, Did Peanut was uh, documenting this whole thing. And I'd like to show you some photos from the evening. I don't think anybody got as fucked up as Ham did last year where he slid down the stairs. I don't think anyone got that fucked up. I think TT was the most drunk person at the party. In the middle of the night, he stayed over because he, he didn't trust himself in an Uber. In the middle of the night, I get up to the kitchen to grab a glass of water. I'm just in my underwear. I'm just, uh. and I see TT on the floor playing with the kitty and I'm like, TT, are you okay? And he goes, I'm too scared to lay down. So I'm playing with the kitty. And I go, TT, you're okay. <laughs> like, you're okay, bro. Like there's <laughs> people in chat saying, been there, bro. That's what I was trying to communicate to him. I'm like, bro, do not worry. We have every one of us who's drank has been there before. He's like, I, I don't want to lay down because if I lay down, I'm going to throw up and the kitty's making me feel safe. I'm like, okay, buddy. And then I wake up the next morning, TT's sitting there eating a fucking quesadilla. And he's like, I may have missed the toilet last night. Don't worry, I cleaned it all up. <laughs> I was like, oh, buddy. I'm just gonna jump into my favorite part of the party and then it'll be all downhill from there. So we did a uh, gift exchange, white elephant gift exchange. I provided a gift that I thought was very cool. I provided Seven Wonders Duel, an expansion and a Visa gift card where uh, the a value on the card was not known until it was locked in. What do you mean Z, 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 Z? What, that's such a good gift. That's so fun. It's creative and quirky. You know what? I'm not going to be shamed when Ryder showed up with a, a black woman candle. It was a black woman bust candle. Who, what? I'm sorry. I'm a bad gift giver. I ended up stealing somebody's. And this is my favorite of all time. My friend, Sam, I have no clue why he did this. You are going to judge him because of this. But let me assure you, everyone was as confused as you are. He put a massage gun into a bag. He put a small t-shirt into a bag. But I didn't want either of those things. I wanted the third thing. And this is why I stole. Let me introduce you to the new <clears throat> star of my mantle. Just a, fo just a photo of him. It's just a photo of him. And I don't know why when I saw it, I saw duty. I saw a sense of pride and accomplishment. I saw the man I want to be. Don't call him Diglett. I don't know. I don't know what he was thinking. The second this got open, I knew I needed it. So when it was my turn to steal, you better believe I stole it. And I even told everyone in the room, I'm like, if anybody steals it back from me, I'm kicking you out of the party. So I locked it in with that. I even gave them the massage gun away. I didn't even want it. You know why? Because you can't buy this. This has to be gifted by a fallen soldier. <laughs> Every day he wakes up and fights Al-Qaeda. What do you fucking do? Thank you guys. Let's look at some photos. And let me introduce you to the masked menace. Peanut, not through his own choice, heartbreakingly got stuck with something he did not want at the White Elephant. He got stolen left and right and he, he, he was left with not much option. So he ended up with a present that my friend Linux brought, which was a lock picking set, practice locks to, to practice lock picking on them, like nice, nice set, nice locks, and a balaclava. <laughs> Which, by the way, Linux, one of the funniest gifts of the night. I thought that was very funny. Peanut turned into uh, a bit of a menace that night. <laughs> I've never seen someone so happy. God, he's everywhere. He's everywhere and he's nowhere. He looks like he's about to say some anti-Semitic shit, dude. It's like, he's every it's like he's photoshopped. It's like he wasn't at the party. A little bit of rape going on in the background. You know how it is at a Wubby party. Whoa, whoa! You know how when Browns get together, you know what happens. He kept going around to everyone going, hey, phase up. He kept talking like he was in phase clan. I don't know why. Here's that uh, persona. <laughs> he just kept everywhere he goes. Phase, phase. Keep in mind, Peanut's wasted at this point. <laughs> this is the best part right here. Let me show you this. Hold on. Look at 
text. So happy. I don't know. I don't know, chat. It's a masterpiece, isn't it? Who did he sleep with that night? Everyone. No one was safe. The residue on the mask, he refused to clean it up to the point where my friend here, Sam, this guy, at one point cornered him and said, hey, Peanut, you got shit all over your mask. And he goes, I know I want it there. It's part of the look. Dude was unstoppable when this mask came on. I did the stupid thing. I promised everyone I wouldn't do. I bought another breathalyzer. <laughs> Bigger number, better person. Bigger number, better person. I don't know what happened. It stopped working later in the night and we know it broke because it kept telling us that we would be legally dead. So I wanna talk about the pee corner. So it's my house during the party. I didn't wanna to get too far from the party by going inside and peeing. And I'm a man, I don't have a vagina. I found a corner off to the side of the house to pee at. And I have been doing it all night. <laughs> At one point, my friend Rye, he's also a military man, and he's so gay, and I, I mean this in not a, any sort of mean way. Every time I would go pee, he would grab my hand and be like, let me come with you. Eventually, I couldn't shake him off. He follows me to go pee, and he sees that I've been peeing in this corner. That commotion causes every dude at the party to follow me to this pee corner. So I'm peeing in the corner, and I have a group formed around me, and I don't know why this was where it went. <laughs> But now, everybody wants to pee in the pee corner. I would like to say the dirt here looks so much darker. Here's exhibit A of the pee corner. Here's how it started. Here's where it went. <laughs> Look at how many dudes are there. I'm not even exaggerating. I don't even understand, dude. It's one of those things like, right when it's done, we're like, what the fuck was the point of that? I don't know, I'm drunk. Look at how happy DJ is. The fucking masked menace struck again. He goes, starts peeing. And do you want to know what this kid does? Do you want to know what Peanut did? My man did the, I'm six years old at a urinal. My man dropped everything down, bare ass, the world to see, just sat there and peed, just enjoyed it, lived life. And I'm like, this is too much, guys. <laughs> it's okay, Peanut. It's okay, buddy. So my friend Ryder <clears throat> has this really bad habit of getting drunk and showing everybody his social security card. <laughs> And this time I was like, you know what? I'm tired of this happening and it not being documented. So we got a selfie with it this time. <laughs> Why does he carry it? I don't even know. I don't know. I can say the N word in this song because Kanye is really anti-Semitic. Now, 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 hear, now, hear, there's, now, hear me out. Okay, let's, 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 let's break this down for a second. Let it, let him land. Let him land. Ham is very Jewish. Was drunk and maybe a little hurt by the, by Kanye's recent actions. Kanye went beyond mask off recently. Ironically, wearing a mask when he did it. You know this song. I ain't saying she's a, a gold digger. This song is risky for white people parties. It really is. And I think Ham was wrestling with wanting to sing the lyric. And I think in his head, he went, listen, I should be able to sing this lyric because Kanye said some fucked up shit. I'm going to mute it because I want you to just watch Peanut's head movement here because it is just so, he's like, mm, this fucking guy. Look, look, at he's nah, 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 nah. The mass menace does not tolerate racism of any kind. Right behind Peanut, there's a dartboard. And we got to that time of the night where this guy had enough in his system to go, all right, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put my hand on the dartboard and you guys throw darts at it. So what did we do as responsible friends? We said, bullseye, double or nothing. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Hi, how are you? I miss you. <laughs> she had like a hard reset. We, her and I'm realizing her and I both had like a hard reset here. Why do you have Ash labeled? She showed up with her own fucking Jew star, okay? I didn't ask her to show up this way. I love Polaroids. Polaroids make everybody look cooler. This with a normal camera. <laughs> This on a Polaroid, sheesh, they're important. They're somebody. DJ, I know you so well. You're one of the kindest guys I've ever met. This Polaroid makes you look like you beat the shit out of your wife. My boy Jevons, my Australian friend Jevons, at one point in the night, this is late in the night, everyone's fucked up. My boy Jevons goes missing. I have a pool, so this was immediately alarming to all of us. He flew 13 hours to be here, and now he's gonna die in my house, and that's really inconvenient for me. We're all standing in the kitchen, hanging out, and, and Ash goes, where's Jevons? And I'm like looking around, I'm like, 
I haven't seen him in a while. I immediately go outside, check the pool. There's no body floating. 20 minutes go by. I am not a part of the search party at this point. I've given up. Jevons was worth my time when it meant me looking outside my window. Beyond that, hey, Jevons, you're on your own. 20 minutes later, Ash comes in. Jevons is in a blanket, just looking confused. I'm like, what happened? We found him outside your property, asleep. <laughs> asleep on this like little rock area. Dude was shivering. They recorded the shortest little video from this encounter. That is so fun. This video, I saved it for the end. It's very short. So here he is. Just in the middle of fucking nowhere. And I want you to listen carefully. My man, you know, out, just now waking up. Listen to what they say to him. Ready? Okay. So what are you- Jevons, do you wanna- Do you wanna come back up with us? What have you guys been doing? <laughs> <laughs> do you wanna come back up? What have you guys been doing? What have we been- Jevons, what have you been doing? People saying he looks like an NPC. Dude, he really does. Like, you just started a quest and it's like, what have you guys been doing? Okay. So what are you Jevons, do you wanna do you wanna come back up with us? What have you guys been doing? He was gone in total. Definitely more than an hour, definitely less than two hours. He was gone. At the bottom of the property for like an hour and a half. Do you have this photo? Jevons, do you have anything to say for yourself? I thought it was like 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I think he would have slept out there all night, which is kind of, I mean, it wasn't cold enough to be like damaging, but it wouldn't have been good. DJ messaged me two minutes ago and said, feel free to show whatever photos of me, I don't care. Hey DJ, you're about an hour late, brother. <laughs> Love you. I appreciate it. I had Hoop, doo, one Hoop, Nazi party Hoop. member yeah. medal. So you want to talk Scoop, about dee, what dee, the whoop. real controllers Hoop, dee, dee, of the Greys are. Whoop-dee-dee-scoop-poop.